Every breakthrough we've come to depend on started somewhere. A journey from concept to indispensable technology. It's a story of constant evolution, careful enhancement and precise adaptation. Driven by emerging needs and the pulse of the market. And the transformations we've witnessed since the late 20th century aren't just impressive, they're nothing short of staggering. So how does all that relate to the lift industry and the lifts in your portfolio? The origin of the lift is a journey back to ancient times, to the ingenuity of the Egyptians and the monumental construction of the pyramids. Yet the modern lift safety lineage began much later. It was at the Crystal Palace Exhibition in New York in 1853 when a certain Elisha Otis catalyzed a revolution in vertical transport. Before a crowd shifting between amazement and terror, Otis showcased the world's first safety gear for lifts. Following his successful demonstration, he confidently assured the onlookers with the words, All safe, gentlemen. The innovation didn't take long to find practical application. By 1857, the first passenger lift equipped with Elisha Otis's pioneering safety gear was installed, serving customers at the E.V. Howe Woot & Co. store on Broadway, New York. While it's a statistical fact that lifts are among the safest modes of transportation, with millions safely ascending and descending every day worldwide, the reality remains that even the most meticulously maintained lifts are not immune to mishaps. Instances of uncontrolled movement, though rare, do occur, and the consequence of overspeed can be dire. Yet, we stand on the shoulders of innovation, far advanced from Elisha Otis's initial breakthrough, and today's technology has evolved to match the soaring heights and velocities of contemporary architecture. As buildings got taller and lifts got faster, the design of the safety gear also changed into what we call today the progressive safety gear. One of the best examples of this type of safety gear in use today is the Atwell International range of VG safety gears. The first of which, VG1, was first developed in 1996 and its latest version, the VG8, being certified in 2016. So where did the need for these complex safety systems and stringent regulations come from? To find the answer, we need to go back to the 1920s and the so-called elevator strikes, which lasted through to 1945. These strikes by lift operators played a pivotal role in spurring the automation of the elevator. Lifts were perceived as complex machines requiring skilled operation for safe use, but the frequent strikes prompted manufacturers to innovate. They introduced advanced safety features that enabled elevators to operate autonomously, marking a significant shift towards independent lift systems. The integration of these new safety features, such as emergency telephones, stop buttons and alarms, marked a significant leap in lift technology. And by the 1950s, the adverts of Otis elevators were showcasing a revolution in automation. And as this new era dawned, the once essential role of the lift operator began to diminish, leading to a bittersweet progress as automation advanced and relegating many to unemployment. But these strikes also brought about changes in operation and led to the development of more detailed, stringent codes of practice and standards. Starting in 1935 with the Code of Practice for Lifts and Escalators, on to the 1979 safety rules for the construction and installation of electric lifts, BS 5655, through to the modern safety standards of EN 81, and most importantly, including the overarching statutory instrument of the lift regulations, 2016. Of course, the advancement of the codes of practice has meant that the lift safety system has evolved from the era of Elisha Otis's ratchet brake to the modern progressive safety gear of today. These modern safety systems are now required to protect against ascending car overspeed protection, ACOP, unintended car movement with doors open, UCMP, overspeed incidents, and free fall protection. However, 
The activation of safety gears within these systems has changed very little. So, in order to develop safety products and integrate the available new technology and changes to the regulations, Atwell International specifically designed and built its own in-house free-fall test tower. Using the tower facilities, Atwell designed and replicated a simple passenger lift, similar to hundreds across the UK, to test and prove its own product range. This unique free-fall drop test facility can be set to simulate a range of loads and speeds to replicate a passenger lift, in which Atwell can further test its product range, both mechanically and electronically, while in a safe and simulated environment. Eventually, Atwell became convinced that no safety gear fitted in any lift would actually operate at the speed it was designed for, and more importantly, certified to. This assertion, while striking, prompts us to examine the real-world performance of modern lifts when confronted with free-fall conditions. Let's dive into the evidence. To prove this bold statement, the test tower was designed to simulate a standard four-person lift, with a P and Q of 1,000 kilograms and a trip speed of 0.5 meters per second, with a conventional governor and tension weight arrangement to activate the safety gear. This test allowed us to record the actual speed the falling lift car reached after the overspeed governor was deployed and before the actual braking by the safety gear was registered. This graphic shows the speed increasing way above the certified trip speed of the safety gear, highlighted in the graph as line C. Then, using a calibrated accelerometer, the actual activation speed of the safety gear was recorded at 2.8 meters per second, approximately 140% higher than the calibrated speed of the overspeed governor and safety gear. It is important to note that the braking deceleration profile for the progressive safety gear remains the same, but the deployment speed is considerably higher than intended. The video simulating this deployment shows what this means for the distance traveled by the lift car. Now let's repeat the drop test with no changes to the safety gear braking mechanism, weights or trip speed, but the mechanical overspeed governor arrangement replaced with Atwell International's new product and the safety gears are now held off with electromagnets. This test allowed us to record the new speed the falling lift car reached after the new device was activated, but before actual braking by the safety gear was registered. This is highlighted in the graph as line A. Using the same calibrated equipment, the actual activation speed of the safety gear was now recorded at 0.53 meters per second, which is approximately 5.8% higher than the calibrated speed of the safety gear. At this point, it's important to note that the braking deceleration profile for the progressive safety gear remained the same, and the deployment speed is now back within the allowable tolerances of the calibrated safety gear. So, how did we achieve this significant reduction in reaction time and stopping distance? Introducing the new AIO Speed Watcher. Enhancing safety, elevating performance. Let's take a look in more detail at how the Speed Watcher was developed. Continuous testing and development led to the range of safety gear you know today. The VG2A, the VG4, the bi-directional VG5 and the larger VG6. Since then, the VG7 and VG8 have also been developed, adding greater flexibility to the range. The next development in the VG range from Atwell International was the VG Rope Brake. Initially a simple single direction safety device for upward overspeeding only, developed in 2003. This was quickly followed by the bi-directional rope brake in 2007 with uncontrolled movement detection capability. Not stopping there, with a desire to produce an even more accurate and safe system, Atwell International developed, in conjunction with Kuma Innovation, the VG Overspeed Governor. Each development had safety at the forefront, ensuring peace of mind for the lift owner and installer alike. These advances have synergistically augmented the VG range, adeptly meeting diverse engineering demands. 
From the slopes of funicular railways to the depths of coal mines, the thrills of theme park rides and the iconic heights of the Eiffel Tower to the regal confines of Buckingham Palace, not to mention a global export market. Moreover, these innovations have paved the way for Atwell International to integrate these technical advancements, culminating in the development of the ultimate lift protection system, the VG AIO Speed Watcher. The AIO Speed Watcher is a new concept in lift safety. It will completely do away with the conventional overspeed governor and tension weight system. Expensive and time-consuming installation, governor rope and linkage kits will all become things of the past. The AIO Speed Watcher takes all of the previous design and technology and advances it still further. It uses dual-channel encoder technology to monitor and record every single journey and operation of the lift installation. And using Wi-Fi, you and your team can remotely monitor every one of your lifts from anywhere in the world through a simple, easy-to-use web browser, allowing performance checking and data analysis. The AIO Speed Watcher's bespoke software interface also allows your engineers to safely reset the safety gear without having to enter the lift shaft. The VG8 contains a unique reset mechanism which will lift the safety gear jaws clear, latching them in the set position using 12 volt electromagnet technology. The entire VG safety gear range is soon to have the same capability and a retrofit design will even allow the upscaling of your existing VG2, VG5 and VG6 to have the very same remote reset option. The encoders have been vigorously tested in a 12-hour continuous run test of 5 meters per second, and the reset mechanism has been tested over 500 cycles. The AIO Speed Watcher has been designed to be a simple plug-and-play installation with minimal connections to the existing lift controller. It has the same footprint as the VG8 safety gear and can be fitted above or below the lift car, either mounted to the safety gear or independently fitted. Requiring a 12-volt supply, it's much quicker and more cost-effective to install, and the installation time is reduced to a few hours rather than days for that of a conventional system. But with all these advances, one thing that has not changed is the performance of the VG safety gear range. Reliability, braking characteristics, and multiple-use functionality remain the same. The AIO Speed Watcher is the latest addition to the Atwell International product range, built entirely in the UK using the most up-to-date technology. Its fail-safe design provides a lift speed range of 0.01 meters per second to over 7.5 meters per second, making it compatible with every lift in use today in the UK. To ensure adaptability across all UK lifts, the AIO Speed Watcher has undergone rigorous testing by BSI, achieving full CE certification, affirming its capability to safeguard passengers. It complies fully with the current regulations on overspeed, speed monitoring, speed limiting, free fall, and uncontrolled movement of the car. The 12 levels of fail-safe monitored redundancy ensure a certified safety circuit and controlled movement compliance, commonly known as A3, and ascending car overspeed protection have all received their stamps of approval. The AIO Speed Watcher has been developed over the last 15 years into a product that Atwell International is justifiably proud of, that will, in turn, provide you and your customers with the peace of mind the whole VG range has always offered. The AIO Speed Watcher will become a vital tool in your portfolio. With its remote access capabilities, considerably improved activation times, and ease of installation reducing time on site, it will lead the way to a new level of protection for both your engineers and users alike. Enhancing safety, elevating performance, taking lift safety to the next level.